Karena orang hutan DNA-nya seperti hampir I like orangutans because they're so much like us. Dan tipikalnya itu mirip-mirip dengan manusia. Their DNA is practically the same as ours and their behavior is similar too. Uh, ada yang bisa for instance, the young ones vie for attention, they want to cuddle, angle, they're defiant, they can also get angry. They're like us, and that fascinates me. Itu membuat saya tertarik karena dia mirip manusia. Dora has waited the entire morning for this moment to get out of her cage and into the forest. She's five years old and an orphan. She was kept illegally as a house pet for most of her life. Around a year ago, she was taken away from her owner. Now her trainers take her into the forest every day for climbing practice. At this jungle school, Dora learns the skills she'll need to survive in the wild. Today, Peter Pratia from the Frankfurt Zoological Society has come along to see how Dora is progressing. At the reintroduction station, we've seen orangutans who've been kept caged up venture out onto branches as thin as the bars of their cages. Their cages were stable and secure, so at first they climb up small trees or hold on to tiny branches and often come crashing down. The next lesson is how to build a nest. Orangutans living in the wild build a new one each night as protection against parasites. But Dora still prefers to use the ready-made nest. Meanwhile, back at the camp, Fatima and her colleagues are preparing a meal fit for an orangutan. Fruit wrapped in banana leaves and tied up with string. Dora and her fellow orangutans need to learn that getting food requires some effort. In their cages, they get fruit from the forest once a day. It's not as attractive as cultivated fruit. The wild varieties aren't as sweet or as juicy. They're relatively dry and hard in comparison, but we have to get them to eat it anyway. How to find food is one of the most important lessons the orangutans must learn. Mm. Yeah. Here, Dora is learning to suck termites out of their nest. High in protein, the insects can prove a vital energy source during lean times. Her trainers also demonstrate how to get the goodness out of a stem of rattan palm. Rattan, uh Orangutans eat rattan as an alternative at times when there's no fruit in the forest. During the dry season, they usually eat termites, rattan and leaves, not fruit. Bukit Tigapulu is one of Sumatra's largest remaining rainforests. It provides food and a home to countless animal species. Protecting this unique environment has become Peter Pratia's life's work. Of the 6,000 orangutans living in the wild here in Sumatra, only 1,600 live in protected areas. The future will depend on how well these sanctuaries are protected. That will prove decisive in determining whether the species is still around in the next millennium or whether it will die out. Near the reintroduction station, there are signs of logging and slash and burn land clearing. Palm oil plantations in particular keep encroaching on woodland. Some two thirds of Sumatra's rainforest has vanished over the last 50 years, taking the orangutan's habitat along with it. So, preserving the rainforest is now conservationists' top priority. Back at the jungle camp, a new orangutan has arrived. Around 10 come here for training each year. Uh, 
We have a new orangutan. His name is Hugo Blanco, and he was kept illegally. He's just five years old and needs training, so that eventually he can survive on his own in the forest. Dora's days of living in a cage are over. Her trainers have decided that she's ready to be released into the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Animal rights activists have reintroduced around 160 orangutans into the wild. Even if Dora seems a little hesitant, she's going to join her fellow primates in the forest and help strengthen their population. Her release will take place deep in the forest. Her trainers keep going until they find the perfect location. Here there's a source of water close by. And they leave a bit of food handy. Dora, Dora, Dora. It went well. She's off to a good start. She climbed to the treetops and stayed in the forest canopy. It's like when your kids finish high school. You're glad, but when they leave home to go to college, that's hard for parents. But it's what's supposed to happen, and that's what counts. The conservationists will keep an eye on Dora for a little while yet, until they're sure she's putting into practice what she's learned at the jungle school. Only then will she be able to thrive and breed in the wild.